this is a standard Niners play. We see them run all the time. You're going to get an out with the with the deep curl uh, on the outside. I think that's going to be Ayuk. Mm. It's it's covered well. Oh, this is he does, the thing here that I don't like about it from Mullen's perspective is that he pats the ball one too many times. Yeah, and, and what that does is that's that's what allows uh, Jenkins to come all the way across the field to make the play. Yeah. This is an interesting play because I put this in the bad Shanahan section, but maybe that's because I'm biased. But the way I looked at it, and to correct me if I'm wrong, is the timing of the drop does not match up with the timing of the route. So he reaches the top of his drop now. I mean, Ayuk isn't going to make his break for another 10 yards. 10 yards. Yeah. So that should have been a, long, a deeper drop or a shorter route because – when he just is at the top of his drop, again, tell me if I'm not reading this right, but when he's just here padding it, waiting, waiting, it just allows 27 to get all the way over there. Yeah, what I, the only thing that I'm going to say on that, and the only reason why I put this on the, on Nick is because sure. when, when he pats the ball the first time is really yeah. when that ball should be coming out. Okay, we throw with anticipation. Yeah, because you know where he's going, and it's a curl, which makes it a pretty easy route. You throw it into that uh, area. Throw it now. Yeah. yeah, don't do that. Right there. Yeah, interesting. So he needs... Okay, let's let's let's. I think you're right, right there. If you, yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, so one one more time. Let's pause it at the first pat and see where Ayuk is. is there, right there, like right right there, right and there. he's just starting to break down. Yep. Yeah. So yep. why did you do that? It'd be an interesting question to ask him. Why why'd you why'd you double clutch? Yeah. Good call, that's, Jack. That's yeah. a tough one. I'm not sure on that route if it's a, if it's a depth that they're running to or if he's supposed to be running the guy off exactly kind of what they're looking ah, at right there. Yeah. But uh, that ball definitely should have been <clears throat> right there when he passed the ball. Yeah. Good call, Jack. Good call. All uh, right. Let's go to uh, second quarter now, uh, 522. Okay. I like watching it with you. That way we can talk it through because sometimes I'll get like a feeling about a play and be wrong. And then just say, hey, Jack, what do you think? And you're like, mm. okay, good point. Good point. Good call. <laughs> That's the same thing here. Uh, yeah. So this is the one where it's a play action. He's going to be rolling to his right. He, he ends up keeping the ball and running for a gain of two. But as you watch this play unfold and he gets off to the edge, if he had kept his eyes up and downfield and in a throwing position, mm. he's going to have Taylor coming open late. The, the backer's with Taylor right here. He's going to be with him quite a ways. And this is a situation where the, you see, then all of a sudden, see, there goes the backer. Ah, yeah. Yeah. He's able to get that ball downfield and they get a, a bigger gain. That's interesting. You know, you're right. But in Nick's defense, let's go frame by frame. At this point when he decides, screw it, I'm running, I wouldn't necessarily expect Trent Taylor to get open either. No. <laughs> and the fact that he does is, is kind of like a Christmas miracle. Like, wow, Trent, oh my God. I guess you, I guess you still can do it, man. But you're right. You're right. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. Well, the only reason that I say that he should expect him is because the linebacker's got his back turned to yep. uh, turned to uh, to the, the wide receiver. Yep. Yeah. So all he has to do is slam on the brakes and it's over. Yeah. She does. Yeah. So yeah, that's the only ball. thing. Well, I would, I would, if I was coaching Mullins, I would say, hey, you know, attack the offense, attack the line, but keep yourself in a, in a position to be able to throw the ball here. Agree. Just keep your eyes down the field. If you make, if you break the line of scrimmage, then go ahead and then tuck it and run. Yeah, I mean, how many times would we see Jeff Garcia or Steve Young approach the line of scrimmage and pump fake but not cross it? Yeah, well, think about Russell Wilson, how much we see yeah. him do that. How many times he's throwing the ball and it looks like he's even over the line. Yeah, just stop, come back. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's already put the ball down right at that point. Yeah. So Good eye, Jack. Good the eye. Good thing, you know, the good, the good thing about it at this point is two plays later, he does hit, he hits the receiver for a first down. Uh, and they, so it's kind of a, a, mute, a moot point, but still something to look at. But again, like at this point, the, the, the line of scrimmage is here, I believe. It is. And he's still committed. He and, and he's open. If this were Steve Young, Steve Young and Jeff Garcia would have had the presence to make that throw. Those are two of the best quarterbacks in franchise history. But that's the that's the standard here. Yeah, because you, you also saw them keep the ball in the throwing position. Yes. The way, you know, they wouldn't have tucked line. it down five yards behind the line of scrimmage. They just wouldn't have done it. They would have right. kept, kept that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like Nick makes up his mind here, right there. Yeah. He's I going. Yeah, he, yep. he he doesn't see that linebacker that's that's going to make the tackle or you know yep. run up on him as much. So I think yeah, but you know, Nick has wheels. He, it's 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 fair for him to show him off every once in a while. It was a nice slide <laughs> at the end too. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> all right, what's next? Uh, let's go. That's all of the bad Nick I had for the first half. Let's jump okay. to the third quarter. Uh, Six fifty nine. Okay. All right. Six fifty nine. 
I got 658. Hopefully it's the same one. The short pass to Kendrick Bourne on first down. Let's see. Which one is this? This is, hold on. No, this is going to be the, uh, this is. Am I in the wrong quarter here? We're looking at. Quarter four. Oh, quarter three. three. Hold on. This is when I start to lose it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> what was it again? Seven what? Uh, 659. Right. 659, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is definitely bad. Okay, let's let's watch it. Yeah. They're only down seven here. Yeah, they're only down seven. They they come out and they were having a really good you know opening drive in the third quarter. He'd been playing well right here on this drive. He just does not see uh, Jenkins drop into the hole. He's looking to the left the whole way, and he doesn't see him drop off the line. Dude, Jenkins had his number all game. You know, Jenkins is good. Yeah, they had a they had a really good uh, plan with their safeties uh, playing around the line of scrimmage throughout. The yes, game. There are different different things there, but he just doesn't doesn't see him at all, and you know. Isn't able to sneak it over. What is this coverage? Uh, you got man to man down here. You got zone over here. You got one safety deep. What is this like? Cover three with a lock on the outside, basically. That's what this it looks guy's like. in. Yeah, and they, and they have like Jenkins playing like the middle linebacker reading his eyes, pretty much, and and he stares him down, right? Yeah. Well, if you and if you see, he looks at him real quick when he when he first drops. As he starts to drop, you'll see Mullen, yeah. Mullen sees him. Twenty seven here. Mullen sees him going to his left. Yeah. And so he thinks he's going to be out of the way. So then he right. comes to the, back to the to the yeah. end cut. Yeah, and again, he, he he he. If he had like kept his eyes straight, maybe that wouldn't have happened. But Jenkins sees it. Yeah. Now he just now. his eyes the whole way. He yeah. Falls back yeah. into the middle of the field, but then he's he's watching his eyes. Interesting. Interesting. So I'm not sure well, if he throws it a little bit late too, and that kind of helped out. But yeah, just he he definitely doesn't see him throughout. It's also a hell of a hell of a catch. It is by it's DB. Too, it's too yeah. Bad the front Safety doesn't do that. Honestly, right? I mean, Jimmy Ward had a much easier one gift wrapped to him and couldn't uh, seal the deal. Yeah, but, pretty much yeah. the same exact thing. Yeah, pretty much the same exact thing. All right. Let's Good go call. To, uh, let's go to the fourth quarter now, 12-15. Uh, okay. All right. Almost there. Boom. Okay. Oh, I have one more for bad, Nick, that I want to run by you and ask what you think. So after this, let's do that. Okay. On okay. this one, this is the one he's going to actually start off on this one, looking to the left. He's looking to Ty Uke on the left side, and he comes back and mm. it over the middle. Yeah. Or to the outside to uh, to Hushchek. Yeah, and what it's almost picked. Yeah. What I don't like about that is is he's already looking to the left, and he actually has – when when he sees that Ayuk's cover deep, he actually should be coming down to to, uh, to the running back. The running back yeah. got got, got – this open right there for some yeah. reason he comes across. I think it's because of that pressure that he's getting off his left side that he pulls away from it. But that's yeah. where the ball should have gone. It should have been good going call in here. Good call. Yeah, that is bad, Nick. Yeah, that's McKinnon's open. Ooh, that's that's dis that's con disconcerting. Let me let me go back to the first quarter real quick. Sure, if you don't mind. Um, I, I have. Let me see exactly what it is. Uh, 12 28 second quarter. This is one of the slot blitzes where he gets crushed. And my question is, is this his fault? Um, 12 28 second quarter. Uh, okay. I don't think this is it. Oh, yeah, that definitely is. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, Nick. Kids don't play football. So you got a straight drop back from under center, five man protection. Uh, Scat back is going out in the flat. Nick Mullins never sees the slot blitz. So obviously it's not that he made a bad decision. He just doesn't see it. But if he had seen it, you throw it here, right? I think well he's going to, he's going to the corner. Going to the corner. Yeah. Well, that's not the hot route though. No, because he but he's a, he's looking to his right. He doesn't see the blitz coming. Yeah, that's the yeah. problem. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. see the blitz coming at all. So yeah. that's that's so that's that's what happens on this one. He's he's going, he's looking out there and it's just a blown protection call, I yep. guess. Oh you know, my god! They don't show any. They don't. They twenty-two doesn't show anything that he's going to be coming on this route. That's true. Go back to the beginning really quick, and let's just yeah. see before the ball snapped. What his what his body language is? Yeah, he's really good. Yeah, no, he doesn't give it away, and he doesn't see it. No, and that one he didn't. The reason I asked that, I wanted to go back and see real quick, is because early in, earlier in the game when you could tell when he's going to be coming, yeah, was, he'd get that inside foot kind of cocked. To, yeah. yeah, he could hatch, so he knew he was coming. Yeah. Hey, at least the Niners have Mitch Wisnowski and not Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, right? <laughs> Jesus. It's a big yeah. hit. It's a big yeah. hit. 
quarterback can't take too many of those and keep playing the same way. Not to make excuses, but geez, that right. Right, the head snaps back and he, the feet come off the ground. Oh, <laughs> my God. Don't play the sport. Yeah, no, 22 is a really made some really nice plays and showed his his physicality throughout this game. This is like Aeneas Williams on Steve Young. No joke. I mean, it's it, 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 it it's not the same, but it's like the same type of lead up to it. Jeez. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. Nick, be careful out there. All right. Okay. Not Nick's fault. That's just the that's just unfortunate. All right, let's go. Should we go back to the fourth quarter? Uh yeah, there, let's go do uh six oh three of the fourth. Okay. God, that is big. All right. Six oh three. All right. Oh, this is the one, the last one, basically. The last gasp in, in the game. No, this is this is before that. I think this is, okay. this is where they're gonna end up kicking a kicking a field goal uh on this on this drive. He throws the ball out here to the left. Oh. He, he, yeah. He's predetermined that he's going to the left side, probably because he's got Ayuk over there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and he but and he really should have looked to the right. Because if you look up on the on the, the top of the screen, you got an out with a little bit deeper of a slant mm. and you get Richie James wide open. Oh, yep. You're sure yeah. right. You're absolutely right. So, like on something like that, my question really to him is, why are you looking that way? The ball gets knocked down at the line of scrimmage, so, you know, it never gets to, to Ayuk, but why is he looking in that direction as opposed to the other side if you're, you know, if you're able to get an honest answer out of him? Right. And, oh, man. So you would call this, again, this is, looks like cover three to me. And if you know that it's zone, then you know that, that, uh, Richie James is going to be running a slant against outside leverage and sh should be open. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I don't know what he thought this was pre-snap. I mean, I guess he thinks it's it's man because 27 goes in. in maybe they disguised it and he got confused. Is that it possible? Like it looks like there's a little bit of man action going on. All, so pre-snap, it looks like it's man and he's they're all squaring up and then yeah. all of a sudden they play outside leverage. Yeah, I don't know. Like maybe that. they... He's taught if it's man, you look left. If it's zone, you look right. And he's confused. Would that, does that look right with the with the route combinations? Yeah, it looks like they're running man with a coming out of like a, it looks like they're running man too, and then they drop into a, a yeah. Man free. So if it's man, you get a quick slant to Ayuk, but if it's zone, you get the the, the dig to to James. I don't know, but is, yeah. is it possible they coached it that way? I'm not sure how the run nah. that one. This know. one looks this one looks similar to a, to the, an earlier route familiar in the game where he does hit James on the slant for a, for a nice game. Yeah. Uh, I'd have to go back and take a look at it, but I just don't like the fact that he's looking to the left, yeah. looking at the short side of the field when he's got a lot more more room to work with on the other side. Absolutely, and he never looks to the right. No, because he's trying never to get the right. quick. Yeah, that's what pressure does, right? Yeah, that's what pressure does. Um, also, can they get a back who blocks, please? Yeah, that's uh, that's the that's forty eight in there on that one. But yeah, yeah. It's Austin Walter, dude. Yeah.